So it looks like the news might be true that Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are out at Good Morning America 3. Because now Page Six is reporting that DeMarco Morgan will be replacing TJ Holmes. You remember DeMarco. We talked all about him. So let's talk a little bit more about him so you can get to know TJ Holmes' replacement. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it was just yesterday that we were talking about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach possibly being out at Good Morning America 3. You know, the third hour of the very popular show, Good Morning America. As you know, we've been following all of the rumors and the stories and the allegations about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach's relationship. I even did a separate podcast about some stuff that I couldn't talk about here or anywhere else. Kempire Radio. It's called Hey Amy. So we've covered all of that. We've covered all the allegations. We, talk, we talked about Andrew Shue, Amy Robach's now almost ex-husband, and how they got together. We talked about uh, Marilee Figbig coming out finally speaking out in daily in the Daily Mail through her attorney saying that she does not appreciate their just flamboyancy when it comes to their relationship now, even though both of them are still legally married. But yesterday we reported that more than likely, according to multiple reports, that Amy and TJ were out at Good Morning America after being pulled off the air for several weeks as ABC News investigated their relationship to ensure that no company policies were violated. However, in the same breath, we also talked about both Amy and TJ lawyering up because they're saying that, did this ever happen to anyone else that was white? Yes, yeah, so they're they're bringing up these issues because they're going to fight this. They want that and they want their positions. Because remember, these are very coveted positions, especially in daytime television, them both being co-anchors. But I said this before, you guys didn't play this out right. You should have got your divorce divorces first, make sure the ink was at least dry there, and then came out with your relationship. Of course, people would have speculated. However... If you did what you were supposed to, like go to your bosses, and I don't know, maybe they did. Maybe they did. Go to your bosses, let them know we're we're divorced, but we are we are now pursuing a relationship together. No, but their egos were like, we're together. No, there's no smoke here. We're divorcing. Remember, these couples that are divorcing and now together used to hang out. They were friendly. At one point, Marilee Figbig really looked to Amy as a girlfriend, a friend, a sister girl. For this to turn out the way that it did, ain't no good gonna come to either one of you. Except Marilee and Andrew. Okay, look, no relationship is perfect. I'm not going to sit here and act as if Andrew and Marilee didn't contribute in some shape or form to whatever happened in their marriages. However... We already know TJ and Amy, y'all could have did a lot better in handling of this situation. No one's saying that you can't deny your feelings or your emotions for each other, but you can clean up your house first and then move on. All right, I'm going to get off I'll get off of my soapbox. All right, let me get off my soapbox. <laughs> well, you know, in coverage of the story, there were a couple of different people coming in at Good Morning America 3 covering for Amy and TJ. And one of the people that we talked about was DeMarco Morgan. Someone in our audience, shout out to Adrian, called in and she says, I know DeMarco. I dated DeMarco. I, I know him very well. And some of you ladies in the comment section really were coming for Adrian. Adrian was, just, first of all, giving us some tea on DeMarco because we, we were just like, wow, this is a good looking man, educated. He's had many years of journalistic experience and all of you were like, why is she talking about this man? And like, she sounds like she still want him. No, she was giving us, like, she, first of all, she thinks he's an, uh, an upstanding guy. If you know Adrian, she's called into our show before. And she always provides really great commentary on some of the things that we're talking about. I didn't take it the way that you, you guys took it. But, you know, sometimes when you have a good looking man, people are like, yeah, whatever. 
No, she was giving us insight to this guy that, you know, he's actually an upstanding guy. I believe she said he was a Kappa, and a lot of you said he looks like one. Some of you, when I posted his picture and he was doing one of the Kappa symbols, some of you were like, that's the mark of the devil. <laughs> Calm down, y'all. <laughs> Well, I want to say this. Page Six is now reporting that more than likely, DeMarco will be taking TJ Holmes's place. This is an amazing opportunity for DeMarco. So let's get into what Page Six is reporting, okay? And again, guys, be sure to check out some of the, the videos that we've covered in regards to this entire situation, including talking about DeMarco. So Page Six is reporting this. It says DeMarco Morgan may not just be TJ replacement seat filler on GMA3 for long. TV insiders are buzzing that the former New York local newsman will replace Holmes permanently on Good Morning America at the afternoon program. Once ABC News officially gives Holmes his walking papers for, from the show, which is coming soon. Several sources told us that Morgan, that ABC, quote, loves the job he's doing. And, quote, everyone thinks he, he's been really great. On Thursday, Morgan attended a media mixer at Plug Uglies, uh, an Irish pub in New York's Gramercy Park area, where he was spotted with the GMA3 executive producer, Kat McKenzie, as well as some local ABC News talent, including uh, Shade ben Benoit. Sorry, Shade, I should know how to pronounce your name at this point. You've been in the news for, for too long. I apologize. And Kimberly Richardson. So according to page six, they says we hear people were, quote, congratulating him and telling him nice job. They continue. They says a lot of people were giving him a lot of praise and he seemed very happy. He was the first to arrive and one of the last to leave. A spy told us Morgan also caught up with former CBS colleague Gail King, who was on the scene. Gail just knows everybody. and Gail is, in, is everywhere. Congratulations, Gail. You just I love that Gail's here in New York now. I mean, she's been here in New York for several years, but she, okay, anyways. <laughs> they continue to say the vibe was very positive. People were taking pictures and catching up. Um, Morgan lives in Los Angeles, but has been flying in to co-host GMA3 with ABC News anchor Re Rinanan Ali, who has been filling in for Amy Robach at the show's Times Square studio. And while the duo may not have the same chemistry as Holmes and Robach, the ratings have been steady. The numbers are good, according to another insider. Because here's the thing. No matter how the scandal may have brought in skyrocketing ratings after it happened, people also, because that are fans of GMA, they don't like this. This is not good for the GMA brand, according to sources close to ABC News, allegedly. I would never looked to Amy and TJ as bigger than the GMA brand. They weren't people that I knew of until this story. But some of you did. And you liked their chemistry on the show. However, again, they were not bigger than the GMA brand. Some people, some personalities are just synonymous with a brand. Like at this point, can you watch GMA without a Robin Roberts? You know what I mean? Not to say and no, everyone's replaceable, but you know what I'm saying? There's certain personalities that are just that, are just that synonymous with a brand that if they're not there, it's like, it's like Simon Cowell without American Idol. I know they're doing it now without him, but who's watching? They continue. They said DeMarco and uh, Renan, I apologize, Renan, uh, aren't screwing on the weekend. Oh, damn. <laughs> aren't screwing on the weekend and then coming to work on Monday. So, of course, they're not going to have the same energy as TJ and Amy. That doesn't mean you do not have to screw with someone to to have good chemistry on camera with them. You know what I mean? Just saying. Some people just have good chemistry. So an AB insider, ABC insider insisted that, quote, no one knows what will happen with Holmes and Robach. The same source added a decision hasn't been made yet. They, there can't be a new anchor if a decision hasn't been made. Their names are still on the show. Another source familiar with the situation told us there's nothing definitive right now, but it is very unlikely they will return. And I'm just going to add this because I know we did a report yesterday that are they being let go? Are they officially out? Because there are multiple outlets reporting that Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are officially out. Here's the thing, though. We have to keep in mind there are contracts involved. There are now lawyers involved. So they're not officially out. Their name is still a part of the show. 
However, they haven't been literally at the show in several weeks because of this alleged investigation. I believe at this point, ABC is figuring out how they're going to announce this, how they're going to to give them their severance and be like, be on your merry way. As I said to you before, this is not going to be good for Amy. This is not going to be good for TJ Holmes. No other network is going to take them at this point because the news of their person, their whole situation is bigger than, than the news that they're reporting on, and it would be a distraction. I mean, I hope they don't go to the same network <laughs> again. I re- really didn't believe that they would be fired. I thought at least they would be removed from GMA or one would be removed from GMA and put on another show. But apparently they were like, no, that's not going to work for whatever reason. And we don't know what those reasons are. Remember, there was an investigation. Did they discover something? Either way, Amy and TJ have lawyered up separate lawyers and this might get messy because they are bringing up race. They're bringing up other issues because they're not going, they're not going without a fight, guys. I want to know if you want to, if you've been watching Demarco on Good Morning America three. We've talked about Demarco. He he graduated from HBCU. He went to an Ivy League. He has m- several years experience as a journalist. So this is not some Johnny come lately without the experience. They're not just taking some uh, another cute black man and putting him in, in his place. Like this guy has serious experience and apparently is a good guy. According to our friend of the show, Adrian, if you missed that video, I'll be posting a link in the description so you can check out and find out a little bit more about DeMarco guys, as always. Oh, and sidebar Garcelle and Kiki. He's coming to New York. Y'all going to have to come to New York if you want. Okay, if you follow me on my Twitter, there was a whole thing when when DeMarco was coming in to fill in for TJ. Garcelle was like, hello? (laughs) Hello? Um, Kiki was like, hook me up, lady. And apparently, I think he is a bachelor, okay? Ladies, line on up. He's coming to New York. But please be a, a lady of stature. He need he doesn't need someone that's going to take him down. He needs someone that's going to uplift him, cook him some dinners while he's working at GMA. Just saying. Guys, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.